Yo, what's going on, y'all? So in this one, we're going to be going over how I truly grew on YouTube. Now, this is a pretty big topic because I am a YouTuber. If you don't know, I'm a YouTuber with hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You know, I have multiple different channels, multiple successful channels. My, my last channel I blew up earlier this year in about 30 days. And I got that from zero to almost 100,000 subscribers in 30 days. So just to put it into perspective, like I, I blew up a bunch of channels previously. And then this year I wanted to test how powerful the shorts algorithm was. So I decided to run another test and blow up another channel. And you know, that, that tended to work out. So, um, yeah, basically I'm very experienced and I, I really want to break down how I got there because I think a lot of people sleep on what it actually takes to be successful and how easy it actually is to be successful. YouTube is much easier than you think. You just truly have to be committed. Now, I'm going to really break it down for you all, but if you want a real, real breakdown with visuals where I actually show you inside my channels, go video by video explaining this video grew this channel in this way, which led me to make this video, which meant and show you all of it, show you the analytics, show you how I built my channel from zero up to hundreds of thousands of subscribers. My, that's what my course does. I, I literally have a course. You'll be able to find that in the first comment or in the description. And the course is going to literally show you all of that. If you want a step-by-step -step guide, somebody you can follow along with, someone you can ask questions with, and they'll release content, more content inside of the course. That's the beautiful part about this course. I can release more content inside of it. The more you all ask questions, the more you want something breaking, broken down, you want something explained, I'll keep explaining. I'll keep diving in. Whatever it takes for you to see what you need to do to be successful. That's what it comes down to. But yeah, this is this is basically how I grew my channels and what it actually takes to be successful here on the YouTube platform. Everyone says consistency, but it is important that you know what you have to be consistent at. The thing with consistency is the more content you make, the better of a content creator you become. You're not going to make a ton of videos and you keep trying to improve and every video is gonna be bad. Well, your first video can start bad, but the more the second one is going to be a little bit better than the first. And that should be your goal. Make the next video a little bit better than the first. And don't be lazy. I think this is one of the biggest things. People think that, oh, I'm just going to post one video a day on YouTube and that's it. It depends on the, the goals you want. It depends on the goals. Because for me, a thousand subscribers on a channel isn't really a goal. That's almost a guarantee. That, that, that's 100% a guarantee. I'm not even going to say it's almost a guarantee. I can 100% guarantee you a thousand subscribers on any channel in any niche on the entire platform within 30 days. I will definitely have that. Like that's not even really a challenge. Um, and I think that I think that so many people think that it's a lot more complicated than it is. But really, the truth is, you have to be committed. You have to lock in. You have to be passionate and know what you're doing. Because when you know what you're doing, you can maneuver around it. So, um, you have to know what content people want to see and you have to drop as many videos as possible. You come into a space and try to drop one video a day like maybe your favorite YouTubers do. Why does it work for your favorite YouTubers but it won't work for you? You're working equally as hard and probably still less as hard because they're better at making videos. So you're working less than them really because they're better at doing what they do so they have a whole formula for their success. So they're still doing more work than you but you're trying to release as much as the people who already are doing it and thinking that you have to do something that makes you stand out. Stand out. You you have to post more. You have to, to have more videos, more content coming out. I always post three videos a day minimal and I even post way more videos than that. Honestly, when I'm grinding on new channels, I post between seven to 10 videos a day, but I'm committed and I'm also experienced enough to be able to come up with seven to 10 videos every single day. I can come up with those titles. I can come up with tags, thumbnails, description, anything that I need to create these videos and get them out there and actually have a, a watchable enough quality. I can do that. I know, I know exactly what I'm doing. And that's what I think is very, very important. Even if you don't know what you're doing to that extent, the only way that you're going to learn what you're doing is by doing it. So you have to just get up and do it. Don't worry about the views. Don't worry about the comments. Don't worry about what someone is saying to you. Like if it's a combat, com comment giving you feedback, cool. If it's a comment hating on you saying, oh, your video is trash, cool. I mean, who cares? Your video is probably going to be trash. If, if they say it's trash, it probably isn't the best video, but okay, make it better. 
Like, like make it better. Usually they give a little bit more feedback to that. They they hate they they say something hateful, but it's something that you can take something from. Like I may I said in one of my other videos, the example that I got was someone said, "Yo, you talk too much." But really, and and you really got to understand that when someone says you didn't talk, you talk too much. It's not really that you talk too much; it's that you're not saying anything that they're trying to hear. You know, like so, because if if somebody gives you an hour long speech, but every single word of it resonates to your core, you're not gonna sit here and think. They talk too much. You're going to sit there and think, wow, I really like this person. They think just like me. They feel like me. They experience the same things as me. This is amazing. This person is awesome. That's what you're going to think if every single word coming out of your mouth was valuable and resonating with someone. Now, if you said saying a bunch of, if you saying a bunch of stuff to the point that that's just not hitting, not hitting, not hitting, they're going to zone out and then they're going to zone back in like, yo, he's still talking. And yeah, like that, that's, that's what's giving them that feeling. So that's you you don't look at the negative hate and stuff like that and look at it as a negative thing look at it as oh that's criticism that's feedback i have to do better so then improve you know get into the lab break down what wasn't what wasn't that good about your video and improve it let go of the ego let go of the need for the positive comments embrace everything make as much content as you can the person first off you take two youtubers trying to grow two youtubers at zero subscribers Take the one YouTuber posting one video a day. Take the other YouTuber posting three videos a day. The YouTuber posting three videos a day is going to get three times better than the person posting posting one video a day. Also, this person is going to get three times more chances to be seen in the algorithm and for their channel to grow than the person posting one video one video a day. So you just have to up your odds and up your chances by posting more content. Post as much content as you can. Make sure it's as best quality as you can possibly produce every time you drop. And understand your value proposition that you're giving to the audience. Are you giving them fancy edits? Are you trying to make them laugh? Are you trying to be funny? Are you trying to be educational? Like right now with a video like this, me, I'm educating you. I'm giving you real game. I don't have to do too much. I don't have to edit this video all crazy and stuff like that. I can just genuinely tell you game because I have the results to back up every single thing that I say. So I don't have to sit here and be a Mr. Beast edit. I don't have to go outside, poke my head out the window and say, hey, yeah, and don't forget this tip. Like, I don't have to do all that. The fact of the matter is that's done to keep people, keep people's attention. That's, that's to attention farm. I'm not trying to farm your attention. If you're serious about making it on YouTube, you will listen to the things that I'm saying because it can genuinely help you grow as a content creator. If you, uh, nah, nah, this is he talking too much. Then don't don't take the advice. Like it's really that simple. I I don't have to care. I've already made it on YouTube. So the people who this is for and who's serious, who's going to listen, absorb, take notes, and and go and actually do the things that I'm I'm saying, those are the people who is going to make it. The people who are uh, eh, not taking too long. Nope, I'm done. And those are the people who are going to give up at some point anyway. You 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 giving up on yourself. You're giving up on your education. You're giving up on on free game, free advice. This this is like you're not you're not required to buy my course or anything like that. The course is just it's it's really extra and it's really for people super serious. But this content right here is more than enough to help you figure out how figure out what what exactly to do. I'm telling you, post more than everyone else. It's going to make you improve. My my journey. I was actually going to quit YouTube when I when I found out the the key to success. I I was in the right game at the right time. I was I was just posting random Call of Duty videos hoping that I would blow up in Call of Duty. I was like, I'm going to quit YouTube. Then I was like, yo, I'm going to start posting Call of Duty con I'm going to start posting another game on this channel. And then there was a mobile game at that called Mobile Legends. So I'm like, that but the audience won't like this. Let me just not post it. But then I'm like I'm at my limits. I'm about to quit YouTube anyway. Why do I care if they like it or not? So I just said, screw what they think. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do it. First video, 100,000 views in like a week. Then next video, another one. Next video. So then I'm just, okay. So Because it was a new game and I was one of the first content creators posting content on it. So, it, so anybody looking up information about that game... They were starting to see my videos because I was one of the only people posting information about that game at all. So that was that was the luck involved. But 
me getting past that mental hurdle, me getting past the the not wanting to disappoint my fan base that I had acquired. I think I had like what ten thousand subscribers at this time, and I value each and every one of those subscribers. But I grew so much past that. I, I think I gained my another ten thousand subscribers in like a couple of days or something like that. Then it just it just kept going. It really just kept going and. That's what happens when you start to blow up on YouTube. It's just, it comes so fast to the point where the audience that you were scared to offend, they're so small on the channel that you barely even see their comments anymore. And it sucks having to pivot away. But when you have these goals, these, this drive, this ambition, you have to do what it takes to accomplish the things that you want to accomplish because you don't want to live a life of regret. So I started making my content which you can see in the course exactly what content I was making, why I chose to make it, how I went about making it, and every step that I took to be successful with it. But I started making it, I figured out the formula, and I started slowly dominating every aspect of the game to my name was the biggest name in the game. I became so big and popular in that game at that time that I was the voice of their very first hero trailer. The trailer explaining and introducing the hero to the world, I was the voice of it. The company reached out to me and was like, yo, we would love for you to be the voice of this trailer we're releasing for the for our, our very first one. And I was that voice. And it was amazing. That was that was an amazing thing. It was a great honor that they they, you know, they loved my content that much. So that being said, Find your formula, stick with it, and just keep grinding relentlessly every single day. Don't be proud of one video a day. That's average. That's average one video a day. The The bigger YouTubers who can do one video a day, they've been doing it for a long time. So you're going to either want to take a long time. Like you got five years, you got two, three, three years to just keep posting one video a day. Or do you want to beef up your odds of being successful by posting and posting and posting and posting and seeing... If you can keep making better videos, better and better and better videos as fast as possible. If you can get out five videos in a day, what's stopping you? Like, well, like, why aren't you? Like, don't don't think about the wrong things. Don't get caught up on the wrong things. Oh, the algorithm this. Will the, will the algorithm like this? Or, or will, will the people like... Drop the video and see how people respond to it. And then drop another one. Keep dropping content. Keep trying things. Keep going... Be obsessive. Be relentless. You have to be obsessed with success. You have to. That's the only thing that's going to keep you going to that extent. And then once you get that growth where all your videos are doing well, you can finally take a breather for a short while. Post your one video a day when you have an audience that's just going to watch all your one videos. But then don't don't stop for too long. I, I would not. I would just keep posting three as long as possible. As long as you have the opportunity, just keep dropping as much content as possible because. That, that mentality, that can literally change your life in this game. Outwork everyone else. Even the best content creators on the platform is only dropping like maximum 30 videos a, a day or 30 videos a month. So if for every content creator who's dropping 30 videos a month in the algorithm, you got 90 videos a month in the algorithm. How long, how many months does it take for you to completely drown out everything that they're posting? Like at the at the point where... In two months, in two months, you got 180 videos. In two months, they have 60. Like, think about that. Like, you have 180 videos compared to their 60 in just only two months. So you have 180 more chances. Well, not, not more chances, but you have 180 chances to be seen. They only have 60 chances to be seen. You, The longer you stay at this pace, the more consistently you do this, the, the more likely you are to succeed. So go, just spam, go crazy. Make as much content as possible. Improve as quickly as possible. You don't got time to slow down. You don't got time to be getting discouraged by mean comments. You don't got time to be getting distracted. You don't got time to be, you know, don't slow down. Don't let your foot off the gas. Just go. That's what it takes. That's literally what it takes to become a top creator on, on the platform. It's not difficult. It just takes patience, perseverance, and hard work like you got to be patient but you also got to work really really hard like you got to be delusional you got to work delusionally hard because if every video is getting zero views you got to still be able to say i don't care i'm still gonna post a lot more content you know just i'm still gonna 
I posted three videos today, all three of them at zero views. Okay, on to the fourth one. Fourth one, zero views. On to the fifth one. Okay, I'm kind of tired. Let me go to sleep. Okay, tomorrow. All my videos still at zero views. Cool. Let me get back on it. It's like something's going to work. I got to figure it out. Make sure you're changing things up, pivoting, trying out different types of content maybe, but make sure it's all within your niche and it's all part of a planned out strategy that you can really, you know, implement and try to try to try to attack your big goal by going for smaller goals first. So hopefully you found this helpful and hopefully you understand the mentality you have to be in to succeed. This is how I was able to monetize multiple different channels uh, on YouTube in such a, you know, such a, a quick time frame. I'm the content creator who's willing to post 10 videos a day and I won't stop. And all of those videos will be, though those will be fire videos. It's not, finna, I'm not going to post like all, it may not, they may not be Mr. Beast videos, but they're, they're going to be good enough videos for somebody to consume, enjoy, and actually get to know who I am. And that that's the thing. My videos is about the value and the things that I say. So as a commentator, it's cool. It's very simple for me to do my content. Some content can't be put out that frequently if you want to do heavily edited content. So make sure you understand your niche and what your niche is looking for, but put out as many videos as humanly possible. Because, and if you're jumping into a genre where you got to do one video a day or one video a week or something like that, because it just take you a long time to have a turnaround on, on this content. I mean, that that's a crazy place to start because you don't even know what you're doing. So taking a week to make a video when you don't know what you're doing, you're probably going to take all that time and still make a bad video. So I would say focus on quantity over quality, especially in the beginning. Quality is fine when you know exactly what you're doing. Like if you can sit down, you have a formula to make the perfect video, then yeah, it, take your time with it because you know that video is going to hit. If you don't know how to make a video that's going to hit, it's no point in sitting here, you know, you don't know how to make a video that's going to hit. What are you sitting here trying to make one, take a whole week to make one video for? You don't even know what you're doing. So yeah, it, the strategy kind of changes based on your position and where you're at. But make sure you all keep keep these things in mind when it, when you're trying to figure out how you can grow your channels and how you can be successful. But I'm going to leave you all with that. Let me know in the comment section what else you all want me to go over. I will drop more videos for you all, give you all more advice, and give you all some more of my thoughts. Be sure to check out the course if you want to. If you want to see the real in-depth analysis of the things that I do and I have done to grow, make sure you, um, make sure you um, check out the course if you want to. But yeah, that being said, drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and I will catch you all on the next one. Peace out, fam.